How's everyone doing? Jags Nation here to bring you another video. And unfortunately, yesterday during the week two preseason game on Monday night against the New Orleans Saints, we seen first round draft pick Travis Etienne you know, get hurt. He was limping on the sideline, went to the blue tents. And then after the game, there was a report saying that he was in a walking boot. And today he was going to undergo further testing. And it is in fact, it lists rank injury. So he is done for the season. Um, at first, you know, it said that he might have, you know, only been out 12 to um, like 12 weeks. So maybe only three, three and a half months. But they did place him on IR. And if you get placed on IR before the 53 man roster is set, then you cannot come back from IR. So he is done for the season. It just sucks because list rank injury is like one of the worst, you know, injuries to have in football, especially for a running back, someone that relies heavily on their, you know, their cutbacks as well as their speed. We've seen it happen to Jones Drew. He was never the same really after uh, his injury. Corey Grant, you know, we really never seen much of him and a bunch of other players in the NFL. It's just really hard to come back uh, from. But, you know, he is young, he is healthy. So hopefully he comes back and be the same player that, you know, we drafted him to be someone that's going to be utilized, you know, heavily in the passing game. And that's going to, let's see how it's going to affect the Jaguars. If it was someone, Trevor Lawrence, you know, it was going to be easy if he's in trouble, you just dump it off to Travis Etienne. Etienne is going to be that third round running back. He can line up at wide receiver. Someone that can, you know, take it 60, 70 yards in a blink of an eye. And um, we won't have that this year running back. You know, James Robinson is still a great running back, 1,000-yard rusher from last year. But, you know, he is that, you know, up the middle, you know, type of running back. He doesn't have that that burst of speed that Travis Etienne has. You know, and we did see glimpses of, you know, James Robinson can catch it out of the backfield. So that is a plus. But I think, you know, we are just looking for that, that fast guy, someone that, you know, Urban Meyer always talked about. He likes speed. And, um... We won't have that right now at running back. I mean, I seen Zigbo yesterday. He looked pretty good at, as that third down running back. He had a couple of nice screen uh, catches, you know, catching out of the backfield. So we'll see. Maybe he probably makes a team or if we sign a bet, you know, after the 53-man rosters are all set next week, or maybe we sign a veteran free agent. It just sucks. It seems like the Jaguars are cursed. I mean, Dante Fowler in 2015, uh, third round pick Josh Oliver in 2019. It seems like, you know, left and right every other year we have like a rookie player getting hurt and it just sucks. But hopefully he can come back, you know, be healthy and strong. And uh, just, you know, next year we can utilize him a lot in the passing game. I know Trevor Lawrence would definitely would have liked him to have him this year as that, you know, security blanket sort of. But um, tomorrow I'll definitely give my thoughts on the Jaguars and Saints game. Basically talk about the good and the bad, basically all the bad because there's really nothing good to talk about. And then just kind of, you know, what am I looking forward to in the final preseason game against the Dallas Cowboys. But other than that, go ahead and leave your uh, comments below, you know, what are your thoughts, you know, initial reactions to, you know, Travis Etienne being out for the season. How do you think it's going to affect the Jaguars as well as going to hit, hit that uh, like and subscribe button and also go follow me on Twitter. Go ahead and put the link to that in the description below. But other than that, go Jags.